Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, www.theempireradio.com, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Did you have any significant injuries while you were in high school during your high school career? No, no, not to keep no. me out of the game. Not to keep you out of the game. You know, I might have a wrenched shoulder or something like that. Yeah. But uh, not to keep me out of the game. But you were fairly lucky there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Now, so you were inducted in the football high school, Berkeley High School Football Hall of Fame? Correct. Okay. Talk, talk, talk to us a little bit about that. What was that experience like? Well, I, it's, <laughs> it's double sword. It's like, Okay, at first I didn't know they had one like five, six years ago, right? Mm-hmm. But I keep getting these people coming up, man, when are they going to put you in the Hall of Fame? It's kind of like they just went with the recent people first. Right. Okay. And so I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, you know, I always, the players always mm-hmm. gave me props. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I'm like, at the time, I didn't, it didn't really matter to me. But then when they, you know, said I have it, it meant something. It meant something. It meant something. Yeah. yeah, it really meant something at that time. Yeah, and I didn't know uh, Berkeley High School had a uh, Hall of Fame either. I had no idea either. That's the yeah, first time I heard that. Yeah. yeah. So well, that's that's a great honor. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Appreciate that. Yeah. So do you, do you know whether you still hold any records at Berkeley High School now, or have all of them been broken, or do you know? Well, they they never really documented it. Oh, they not But I've been told. Uh huh. You know, I nobody got... breaking the record because I used to have like 12, 14 tackles a game. I got you. You know. Uh, Six, seven interceptions, you know, at linebacker. I got you. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. Now you're um, going through your high school career, um, you know, I've definitely make an impact in the low country or 10th grade, salt, junior year. Are you starting to hear from schools or how does recruiting work at that time? <laughs> That's uh, okay. Well, supposedly it goes through the head coach. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so, sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. You know, and uh, I, know I was playing linebacker, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to get any letters. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I didn't receive any offers or anything like that. Mm-hmm. You know, so my thing was, uh, I'm going to Clemson. Mm-hmm. I just want to be accepted, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then once that happened, then football came back up again, you know? I said, I'll give it a try. Mm. Give it a try. When you said football came back up again, what do you mean by that? Did you, uh, somebody came to you when you entered the Clemson and told you to, to try out or? Yeah, to yeah. So I said, you know, you should come on out. Mm-hmm. Because Coach Moody was, he was our head coach in high school. Mm. He was always advocating for me. Mm-hmm. He said, y'all missing the bus? You just don't know. He would always say that to any of any speeches he gave or whatsoever mm-hmm. and everything. And so, uh, so they often did say, you know, Mm-hmm. Give me an opportunity to come out and try. It was intimidating as hell because back then, I mean, it, it was some beasts out there. Mm-hmm. So, to give us some context, you're coming when you came to Clemson. This is the year right after the championship. Right after the championship. So, you're going into your first practice is in summer, spring. Yes, we yeah. In the spring? No, and no, we I came in in fall. that, that uh, pre-fall. Mm-hmm. In the fall. Okay. So how is it you, you know, I guess y'all in the dorms, you go to your first day of practice, what you feel? Well, first thing you do, they line you up by position and, mm-hmm. and rank. So like Terry Kennard is up there. I got you. And about, about six other people in front of me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like the seventh person. And that's how we do our drills. Okay. You know, so. So with the people that you named was in front of you, size wise, what I mean, were you the same stature, size, weight? No, they, sure. they 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 were bigger. They were bigger. You know, but then the funny thing about it, that got reduced really quick. Mm-hmm. You know, uh-huh. so it was like you know after the first spring, mm-hmm. then it was like I'm like four. Mm-hmm. You know, like no, four. You know, so it's a lot of fluff in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know. Right. You know, it's like. They were walk. Some of them were walk ons. I was a walk on. Mm-hmm. You know, so you know, it just w- once I got the confidence, mm-hmm. you know, then then that changed the whole game. Yeah, because it's kind of intimidating. Yeah, based off of what you see when you first get there, you know, you got yeah. some amazing athletes. Athletes out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, the criteria for entry wasn't as high as it is right now. Straight. That's right. So yeah. you're getting the best athletes. Yeah. Period. Mm-hmm. Right. 
uh, so what's a normal what's a normal practice in oh, the God. in the spring time wise or two sessions? You know, what's the normal schedule? I mean, this happens in the fall too, but in the fall. Uh, uh, in the fall, yeah. man, uh, it's two two hours. If I if you come as a freshman, you come in, in pre fall, uh -huh. you start off with three a days, so. You get up in the morning at five, you go, you have that first practice. Second practice is mostly special team. Okay. Go back, come back for later that day, mm -hmm. you know. But contact all the time, which don't happen now. Yeah. That's why you see these missed tackles. Because you know? they don't practice tackling. They don't practice tackling anymore. Yeah, I see a lot of guys, it don't even look like they try to wrap up. They no. try to lead it with the shoulder and just try to knock them down or cut them. Well, some of them don't, they, they can't get off the block, mm -hmm. you know can't get off the block. But uh, I assume that's when they don't practice that or not. I don't know how Alabama can, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. yeah. At the top of the heap, yeah. yeah. But they get the best talent all the way around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Clint and Clemson used to get that, too. Yeah, that's you know? right. Clemson had that. That's yeah. right. So so you the coach at the time of Clemson was Danny Ford, right? Coach Correct. Danny Ford. What was that like? What what type of coach was Danny Ford? What was that experience After like? After you leave, he's the best coach you ever go on with play for. <laughs> After you leave? No, man. I mean, I, pre I respect him so much. Mm. He, he really, he really, uh, he was, he gave me a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. You know, he would always talk about me when he'd go to like these events and stuff like yeah. that, but I didn't know that. But uh, dude's hard nose. He's hard nose. And he, and he, you know, he's not, he don't push himself. Mm. And he's not easily impressed. Yeah. So it's that thing you're dealing with. That's right. right. He's he's not going to show you love. Right. Exactly. No. He ain't hard, gonna... tough love. Mm -mm. Okay. But uh, he definitely cared for us. Definitely cared mm -hmm. for us. You find that out later. You he do he did things that we didn't know, know about. Did. Yeah. yeah. But uh, he pushes you. He like. I remember one time I hit somebody on the sideline right before him, mm -hmm. and he had this look on his face like like he was having a damn orgasm or something. I mean, he was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was man, and he would fire you up. He could, he, he would motivate you, man. Yeah. yeah, he would motivate you, man. I must give my respect to him. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. So, 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 what was like? What were your teammates like? What, 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 what oh, was the like? Best, the best. best. I, I think now you see it because mm. they don't really live in the same dome, mm. so they're not around each other anymore. Man, we were so close, mm. you know. So, it, I mean, and it go and it carries on to the field. There's a lot mm. of accountability. Yeah. You know, it's it's like, I remember, like, the upperclassmen, they kind of call the shots, in mm. a sense. The mm. coaches do their thing, but if you ain't doing something in the field, they, they come back, get, get them out, get them out. If you ain't doing your job, they will say, get him out. Just like that. And they're in they take Take the police. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. No, y'all were staying, where were y'all staying on campus? More than home. Y'all were staying more than home. home. Yep. Can't talk about that too much. <laughs> <laughs> we heard stories when we went to clubs that, you know, don't, don't walk in. He's the kidnapper. You walk in front of him, walk in the hall. No, I wasn't like that. I wasn't like that. <laughs> they pull you in there. No, it wasn't, like that. it wasn't like that. But it was fun, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. was fun. It was fun. Yeah. The, um, so, so what was the facilities like? Like right now, I guess the kids, I mean, you hear about these million dollar facilities was Clemson at that time did they spend yeah. a whole lot of money at the facilities so at that yeah, time they yeah. still had you know world class I, when I went to see what they have now I was like dang I thought we had it so, you know, so we had a top facility back then as well mm. you know only difference was we were staying in our own dome everything but we had our own cafeteria mm. Mm. different from you know everybody else but NCAA they stopped that but uh yeah we had like Victory meals, champagne, mm. steak, lobster, whatever, you know. Wow. So if you win, every mm. Monday. Every Monday. They, they treat it. Every Monday. Oh, yeah, they always treat it. Yeah. 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 They always treat it as well. You know, so you, I, I ain't got nothing to say with that. Yeah. Please subscribe and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, IG, or YouTube. You can also listen to our podcast on iTunes, iHeartRadio, Spotify, www.theempireradio.com or wherever you listen to podcasts.